This morning, rising safety concerns here in the U.S. There's no question we're seeing an increase in reported threats. FBI Director Christopher Wray asking for vigilance, warning Hamas and other groups could exploit the conflict in the Middle East to plot attacks here in the United States. While concerns rise that anger here at home may be spilling into violence. In Illinois, a Palestinian American boy is dead and his mother is in serious condition. Police say a landlord repeatedly stabbed the Muslim family renting his home in a deadly attack related to the Israel Hamas war. Six year old Wadia Al Fayumi was killed. The female's claiming that the landlord has the child in another room and apparently is either stabbing or has stabbed the child. 71-year-old Joseph Zuba is now behind bars, facing murder and hate crime charges. For Wadia's father and cousin, the grief is overwhelming. Wadia was such an intelligent boy. He, he was a sweetheart. He just, he loved his iPad. He, he loved games. He loved watching like cartoons. He, he, he was our world. He's like a dream. I still didn't believe my son is gone. It comes as law enforcement nationwide has stepped up security at Jewish places of worship. There's a lot of fear. There's fear now more than ever since the Holocaust. Since Hamas terrorists attacked Israel more than a week ago, reports of anti-Semitic incidents have spiked nearly 300 percent compared to the same week last year, according to the Anti-Defamation League. Over the weekend, tens of thousands rallied in cities from coast to coast, holding solidarity marches and vigils for the victims in Israel. We are protesting. We're walking proudly with the Star of David. Pro-Palestinian supporters also taking to the streets. Marchers in Atlanta demanding an end to the violence. We want to stop this. President Biden reacted to that terrible stabbing in Illinois of the little boy, saying, in his words, a, calling it a horrific act of hate that has no place in America. Savannah? Hard to even fathom, Stephanie. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.